Today on Winging It, we are going to be unboxing a CEX retro haul that I have ordered from online from CEX. Who would have guessed? So today I'm back and I'm here with a box of games. Now these I ordered, as I said, from CEX or which I believe uh, is actually pronounced sex, um, even though everyone says CEX, but it's actually technically called sex uh, for obvious reasons. Um, and it stands for Computer Exchange. It's a uh, basically a used game, DVD and technology store here in the UK. You take your stuff in, you can sell it, you can buy other used stuff. Yeah, it, 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 there's lots of places like that throughout the world. It's that kind of thing. But yeah, it's mainly retro games in here. And today we're going to unbox them. So let's get straight into it. Right, there we go. Little bundle straight out the top. What we got here, we have... Bam! 007 Nightfire. One of the first person James Bond games along with other games. Brilliant game. Um, not as good as some of the other James Bond games back then, that's personal opinion. I think Alex probably disagrees with me on that. But Nightfire, great game. Um, let's have a look at the disc. Guess what they always do in these. Yeah, uh, well, you know, a little bit scratched, but it's PS2, isn't it? Come on, you know. If, you know, I will, I will, by the way, I'll, I'll, I will say exactly how much I paid for these at the end. Um, so yeah, I've got Nightfire. Oh, great game, this one. Lord of the Rings Two Towers! Or oh, The Two Towers. Great PS2 game, this. I remember playing this so much on my PS2. I do remember, though, that once you get to the part where you actually have to defend um, against the Orc Army, I could never get past that bit when I was a kid. So um, I'm looking forward to playing this again because I actually want to see if I can actually beat it uh, this time. Um, so yeah, good. Very good game. Oh, look at this. So not only have you got... Yeah, discs all right, you know. But you have got the manual, proper manual, nice detail in there and everything, and you've got the EA Winter Highlights from 2002. Brilliant. <laughs> really? So it's just got FIFA in it, FIFA 2003, NBA, Tiger Woods, PGA. <laughs> Brilliant. Little history trove there. Love it. Just, just like being young again. Next on the list, we have another James Bond game, and this is my personal choice. Um, in the first person genre, though, I do have a favourite James Bond game, it's not this. Um, this is Agent Under Fire, which was, once again, in the similar style, but this is a much better first person game than Nightfire. This is the controversial choice I'm making. This is the one I stand by. Great game, got great shooting, great car bits, odd controls. Um, I remember it being something like X is to shoot and square is to do something else, completely weird. But, you know, it, it, it is how it is. The game is, eh, you know, it, it's not that damaged. I mean, they've all got slightly marks on them, but, you know. Another manual as well, lovely. I mean, EA back then, you know, not so much these days, but EA back then were, were uh, great at making Star Wars games. I mean, the only problem I have got with this one, though, is it's slightly damaged. Can you see that? Yeah, see, it's cracked on there. Disappointing, maybe, but uh, it's not the end of the world. I mean, once again, I didn't pay very much. The next game, oh, another big game of my childhood, SSX. Brilliant snowboarding game, this. Once again, made by EA Sports Big, uh, which used to be on there, if you remember, the EA Sports Big. They used to do that um, as you load up the game. Really great snowboarding game. Just honestly, the SSX games were just amazing, and I spent many, many hours playing those as a child. Uh, yeah, not too bad. Uh, a blue disc for a change on that one, but nice though. Uh, once again, another manual. I mean, I'm impressed the fact that lots of these still have manuals in good condition. Ah, another game here. Now, this is a really good one. G3 Extreme Racing. Now, if you don't ever play this game, it was a basically kind of like a futuristic motorcycle racing game. You might be able to see on the back here if I uh, if it can get to focus. There we go. Yeah, it's just like a, it's like you still race these kind of futuristic bikes around. It's it's just a really, really good game. Um, comes with another manual. I'm impressed. I'm impressed with the manuals here. The game is, yeah, it's all right. It's all right for what it is. Um, moving on into our next parcel, which I'm unwrapping I'm as quickly as I can. <laughs> Get out the way. Oh, we have a platinum game. Not something you see very often now, and that is the original 
Lego Star Wars, the very first one. Wow. Cool. And a platinum came as well. So this was the very first Star Wars release, very, very long time ago. Um, and you could fight your way through what uh, episodes one, two, and three. Um, and I suspect, like many others who fell in love with the Lego series from this game, enjoyed it very much back then. And I'm sure if I played it now, I would equally enjoy it. Uh, yeah, but it's a platinum one, which is very nice. Good disc. Yep, fine. Manual again. Can't fault it, really, can you? Ah, oh, now this is a game. This is a game. I mean, they're all games, but this is a really good game. This is Spy Hunter. Now, this is a car combat game um, where you basically drive around a spy car. There's objectives you have to do, often timed. So you have to shoot things. It's got a big world that you can traverse around. Really action pace levels. Great soundtrack as well. And I spent a lot of time playing this um, when I was a kid. And I really, really enjoyed it. Um, but yeah, no, honestly, it's a really good game. Um, comes with a manual again. Good disc as well. Yeah, not many scratches on there. Really good. Can't beat it. Ah, now this is a game as well. I like this one. This is Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon. Mmm, interesting. So, you might be wondering, Ben, I've heard you say before you don't like these kind of tactical, you know, games. Um, I played this when I was young on my PS2, before I played Call of Duty. So this is the first sort of experience I had of a kind of army-ish game. Um, and I really actually enjoyed it. I don't know what I enjoyed so much about it, to be honest. I think it was just making the guys explore the world and, and shoot things. I don't really think I understood it enough to really actually be any good at it. But yeah, once again, another manual, another disc. Brilliant. Oh, now this is another, another platinum. And I'm not surprised because this is Splinter Cell Pandora Tomorrow. The best Splinter Cell, in my opinion. Controversial again, I know. Pandora Tomorrow, sequel to the original Splinter Cell, which I already own, um, which is why it's not in here. Really great game. It took everything from the first game, made it so much better, developed it, explored it even further. Just, yeah, honestly, a really, really good game. Um, and to have it on Platinum as well is, is brilliant. Uh, no manual for this one, but not the end of the world. Pandora Tomorrow in Platinum. With Net Play. <laughs> net Play. Because, no, you know, you could go on the line and... I play with your friends. Amazing technology that was back then. Um, and the last one, not well, at least, the final of the PS2 Splinter Cells, Chaos Theory. Uh, once again, a really great game. Um, developed even further from before. This one had a much more forgiving stealth uh, structure to it. Uh, you could. Basically, you could either stealth it or you could shoot your way through this one in the past ones. If you got into open combat, you're pretty much going to die every time. Uh, but with this one, you can generally get away with shooting a bit in this and not being as stealthy. So it's a little easier than the other ones, but it's still, once again, very fun. And it's got a great story to go along with it. Now, our last bundle. And the Ben is beginning to get out of breath now. Um, I think this is a purely PS3, PS4 bundle now. So unfortunately, we're going up um, into the next one. So uh, nothing special in this. I've got Assassin's Creed 1. I've got Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, I've got Assassin's Creed Revelations, and I've got Assassin's Creed Unity. Um, mainly, uh, I already owned these ages ago, but I went through a period of unemployment a few years ago and I sold off some games to generate some cash flow, um, and I'm just basically replacing the ones I got because they're dirt cheap off uh, CEX. Um, and yeah, that is my game haul. Um, and it's a good haul, I like it, it's a good haul. Um, mainly PS2, obviously, that was what I really went on there for. But I've got, you know, a good stack of games here to add to my collection. Um, and yeah, some really good PS2 classics there. Um, how much did I pay for all this? Well, that's what you want to know. The most expensive one, as you might have guessed, was Unity. Um, obviously, it's a PS4 game. Obviously, it's £8. It was of CX. Assassin's Creed 1, Brotherhood and Revelations cost me either 50p or £1.50, um, pretty cheap. All of the PS2 games, which is another um, 16 games, they all cost me, excuse me, I can't seem to uh, talk today. Uh, all 16 of these, these cost 50p each. I know, right? 50p each. This would have been lots of money back in the day, all these were. 
And, you know, 50p each, not bad. Even if, I mean, even if they don't work, I'd love them to work, because I want to get my PS2 out, because I've got it here, and and play them. But, yeah, 50p, it, it's good. You know, it, you can't go wrong with 50p, can you really? Honestly, to get this many games all together and to spend about 25 quid in total, it's you can't really go wrong with that. And, um, you know... Why should you? Um, but yeah, that is my unboxing video. Um, if you enjoyed this, please let me know. Because uh, I want to try and hunt down more of my lost childhood uh, via PS2 games. And and really just discover it all again and have it all back again. Because I did the same thing that everyone did when they were young. We went into Game Station and Game and shops like that in the UK with a massive stack of PS2 games like 40 games and you go in there and you put on the cancel. I want to trade these in so I can get another a new game you know I want to get the new PS3 game or I want to get this and you go in there and you put 40 games on there and he goes da -da -da, types all up uh, scans them checks it yeah and he goes oh, phone's ringing oh, come on oh well well right basically I've got to finish because I've now got to leave but anyway yeah if you enjoyed the video let me know um, and leave a like down below and I will catch you all later peace